Hello all the UPSC aspirants in the Abhimanyu IAS again. My name is Pravesh Watts and I teach in Polity and Governance. So, unhi topics se, jo related to our topics hote hai, which are in the news and which are very important for the exam's perspective, unhi ke upar issue and analysis series hum karte So, aaj main ek topic leke aaya which is SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act 1989, which simply means scheduled caste and scheduled tribes ke upar jo preventions, jo atrocities hoti hai, unko prevent karne ke liye jo hamara kanun hai, uske upar aaj hum charcha karte hai, right? And before that, I would like to tell you that those students who wants to join with the Abhiman UIS and those who wants to, you know, take the free trial classes, they can also join. Or this number bhi uh, par diya gaya hai. Or description box mein iska link bhi hai, right? So we are providing the one year integrated coaching for the 2023 in both the mode online as well as offline. Let's see why it is in news. So recently, the police of Chennai have invoked this, you know, act and its provisions on some people who were doing the ostracization of the scheduled caste community in the state of Chennai, right? So, police ne un logo par karvai kari hai aur unko upar FIR karke, jo criminal justice system hota hai, usko shurvat aur uski shurvat hi hai. Second, we have to see the features of this act, right? Because this is our issue and analysis. So, this act called SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act was passed by the Parliament of India in the year 1989. Then it aims to prohibit discrimination and atrocities against the SC and ST community, which is the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, right? Because they are the most disadvantaged socio-economic groups in India. Their societal and their economic background is very much poor, very much, you know, depressed. And that is why they have been recognized in the Indian constitution into different chapters. Special mazes have been provided to them. Special safeguards have been provided to them, right? To uplift them and to bring them into the mainstream section of the society. Then they are also subjected to atrocities by the upper caste. This point majorly dealing with the scheduled caste, not the scheduled tribes, because scheduled tribes are majorly subjected by, you know, the capitalist or the naive, you know, crony people who really want to destroy the forest and so on and so forth. Then what are the constitutional safeguards we have for the communities which are mentioned? Article 15. It simply says prohibition of discrimination on certain grounds, right? You cannot discriminate with someone. Then Article 17, which says abolition of untouchability. It is majorly for the scheduled caste because the untouchability was practiced in India from the ancient ages on the basis of birth and on the basis of purity and pollution. But since we have, uh, you know, incepted into the modern times, so we have to shed all these, you know, nuisance and social ills, which is untouchability is the prime example. Then Article 21 says protection of life and personal liberty. Every citizen or, you know, every human being has a right to live his life as per his, uh, you know, command, as per his right. And it also includes, you know, uh, the related rights also. For an example, right to live freely, right to food, right to eat, right to move, right? So all these are the components part. And Article 21 is very much broader article, which, you know, uh, encompass all the rights in it. Then, ineffectiveness of untouchability offense act 1955. So, before this 1989 act, we also had this act called, uh, you know, untouchability offenses act, which was majorly dealing with the scheduled caste, ki un unke saath untouchability na ho, right? But because it was having some loopholes and its provisions were not strict, that is why, you know, it was renamed as protection of civil rights act. Civil rights, right? Civil rights, basically, the rights which are given to this, uh, you know, to the citizens or to the individuals of the society to provide the civicness, right? Samajik nyay ke adhar par jo society banti hai, that civic society, civicness, right? Sense of right and wrong as per the constitution, as per the political programs of the society, right? After this, what are the objectives of this 1989 act? First, it protects the vulnerable communities. Majorly, we are talking about the SC and ST. Then, it provides a relief and rehabilitation to victims of caste-based atrocities, right? So, if any sort of, you know, mishappening takes place with any uh, of, uh, you know, any of the individual of these two particular communities, SC or ST, so they will be given, you know, the protection in the form of relief. Relief, not only the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the personal relief, but also the legislative and the criminal and the, you know, the judicial relief. Their voice will be heard by the government and the institutions and the organizations which are running inside the country. 
then rehabilitation unka rehabilitation which simply means they will be giving uh, they will be given you know a sort of more protection a sort of more um, uh, you know protective coverage to again bring them into the mainstream so relief and rehabilitation will also be given then it provide for special and exclusive special courts for the trial एस and ST community के ऊपर जितने भी ऐसे मामले होंगे वो द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ एट्रॉसिटीज दे विल भी हर्ड इन स्पेशल कोर्ट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एज पर दी स्पेशल एक्ट्स और सॉरी एज पर एज पर यू नो द स्पेशल प्रोविजन विच आर मैंशन इन दिस एक्ट राइट टू एंश्योर यू नो दू एंश्योर द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ देयर प्रेस्टीज एंड देयर डिग्निटी एंड दे डू नॉट फील बैड वेन दे यू नो गो इन टू दी मेन स्ट्रीम सोसाइटी एंड से समथिंग अबाउट द इनजस्टिस विच इज बींग डन ऑन दम अदर फीचर्स it section 18 is very much prominent it says anticipatory bail not available to offenders right so anticipatory bail is the bail which you get if you uh, you know do any sort of crime so anticipatory bail is completely prohibited here if you do any sort of crime under the provisions of this act you will not be entitled for the anticipatory bail then it lists various criminal offenses break self respect and esteem kisi bhi tarike ka agar aisa आपका कार्य है इफ यू आर डूइंग एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ एक्शन व्हिच इज हर्टिंग दी सेल्फ एस्टीम जो किसी इंसान की इज्जत या किसी इंसान के जो सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस है उसको तोड़ता है सो दैट विल आल्सो बी कंसीडर्ड एज अ यू नो अ कॉन्ट्रावेंशन ऑफ दिस एक्ट एंड यू विल बी बुक्ड अंडर दैट प्रोविजंस देन इट इंक्लूड्स डिनाइल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेमोक्रेटिक एंड सोशल राइट्स सो इफ द एस सी कम्युनिटी आर नॉट बींग प्रोवाइडेड दीज राइट्स देन ऑल्सो दिस एक्ट विल कम इन टू दी force and this act will take its section it prevents discrimination exploitation and abuse of legal process right in the legal process in the form of special courts establishment they have special law special prosecutors special uh, you know um, provisions national justice and you know all these stuff have to be incorporated when you are providing relief in the form of judicial pronouncements then any public servant deliberately neglecting his duties specifically in this case liable to punishment with imprisonment up to 6 months so for an example if uh, you know an investigation officer in the police department or even in acp or dcp is not performing his task jab unko logo ko bata bhi diya gaya hai ki aap fir likhi agar fir nahi likh rahe hain jab aap logo ko ye pata lag gaya ki inke sath discrimination ho raha hai tab koi action nahi le rahe hain right so if you knowingly doing all these kind of acts so also you will be booked under this under the provisions of this act for the minimum 6 months then recent amendments which are brought in this act first it has brought new offenses which includes garlanding with foot fair right you cannot do such kind of uh, you know heinous discrimination with individuals then compelling to dispose or carry human animal carcasses or manual scavenges no one can compel the scst community to perform these task like doing manual scavenging you know um, putting animal carcasses and many other things then abusing by caste by you, you know propounding or saying publicly your caste in the public so that will also be an abuse and that will also be a crime as per the provisions of this act disrespecting any person imposing threatening socio economic boycott if on the name or if on the basis of caste if you are criticizing someone in the public if you are not letting him to enjoy the socio economic benefits of the society then also you will be booked under the act apart from that preventing from common property resources entering any public resource including educational health institutions so kahi bhi hospital mein jana school mein admission lena if you are doing any sort of discrimination on the basis of uh, you know caste and other rigidities in the society with scst community then also you will be booked establishment of exclusive special court special public prosecutors which i have just mentioned ki hamare yahan special courts banayi jayengi special prosecutors which means advocates hire kiye jayenge those who, uh, you know uh, will be very much sensitive for the st st community and they'll be hearing the cases in a very efficient manner then willful negligence by public servant will leads to dereliction of duty he will be you know he can be suspended also if he will not do his duty efficiently and uh, you know effectively and doing all these kind of nuisances knowingly then preliminary inquiry is not must well this simply means that if someone says that uh, this individual xyz has done any sort of you know abuse with me on the basis of my caste so even the investigation officer in the police department the time he'll be writing the fir he will not entertain any preliminary inquiry by the person on which the charge is being booked 
by the SCST community individually. But this provision is very much distorting, and that is why we saw you know uh, so much um, violent mob into the state of Madhya Pradesh, where in the year 2019 or 20, where we were seeing that uh, this act was majorly criticized by the upper caste community because what was seen is that some of the incidents were coming in which uh, the SCST community individuals themselves were trying to you know distort. Uh, the provisions of this act by taking by uh, you know using their naive interest and to fulfill their naive interest so this provision is somewhat uh, you know very much uh, debatable and uh, confusable because um, there are chances that uh, upper caste community uh, you know do these kind of uh, discrimination with the SCST community but there are also chances where the SCST community will deliber will deliberately misuse this concept by you know booking someone under the charge under the provisions of this act so we have to rethink on this act then no prior approval even required for filing fir right if sest community directly goes to the you know police department and say that he has spoken me something so our judicial system runs on the basis of facts and you know um, uh, on the basis of facts and principles but the fir will be registered without uh, without demanding any sort of evidence from the uh, you know SCST community so these two important uh, you know areas where this act is very much debatable question and criticized though so we have to rethink and the parliament should uh, you know try to uh, provide this act to the parliamentary committees to have a very detailed and scrutinized understanding then what is the way forward this law should be used with full effectiveness to curb such discrimination in society but should also be used cautiously the thing which i was saying to give relief and justice and not to harm deliberately someone. So the priority should be to provide the relief and justice to the people who, with whom the discrimination is happening on the basis of caste, especially the SCST community, jin ke liye bil bana hai. Lekin hume ye bhi dekhna padega ki humari SCST community mein kuch agar individuals aise hain jo jaan pooch kar is bil ko, oh sorry, is act se, agar apne political, apne naive interest, apne personal interest ko sab karna chahe, to un pe bhi hume kuch aisa mechanism lana chahiye, jis se hum usko curb kar sake. Aur society mein, Sari communities ke which may a sense of trust create kar sake, which is very much important for creating the brotherhood and harmony which is a part of our constitution whether it is a fundamental duties fundamental rights or dpsp though so aaj ke liye itna hi fir kisi aur din milte hain kisi aur topic pe thank you so much